Hello, good morning, I hope you are fine. It's Friday, so the weekend is about to start and it's time to take some rest, all right? This is why we don't do videos on Saturdays, because we want you to rest and prepare for Sunday. Child of God, today we are talking about balancing. The scriptures tell us about finding balance between work and rest, between being firm and being flexible, between being a dove and being a serpent. Our first reading is taken from Genesis chapter um, 46 from verses 1 to 30. In that story, we see Joseph asking his brothers to go fetch his father. He had now forgiven them. Remember a few days ago, he treated them harshly, put them in prison for having betrayed him. That was his firm side. And today we see him having mercy on them, forgiving them and asking them to go and bring his father. Then his father, Jacob, comes to Egypt to live with him with all of his descendants and they come to live together happily ever after. So there is this balance here between justice and then mercy. There is this balance between um, saying the truth of what had happened and then finally forgiving the person at the end. So this is what today's readings are about. Now let's look at the Gospel reading of this morning to see exactly how Jesus illustrates this. We are still reading from Matthew chapter 10 from verses 16 to 23. This is what we know in, this, in theology or biblical studies as the missionary discourses of Jesus. Jesus here is sending his disciples, his apostles, out on a mission and he gives them rules and regulations on how to behave, how to achieve their best in the mission, all right? So how to be faithful to the mission. And then he says to them, remember that you are sheep among wolves. I'm sending you out like sheep among wolves. When you read that, you might think, for God's sake, why would God compare me to a sheep where, while others are wolves? Well, the truth about that is that the miracle of the mission is that you are not the strongest. St. Paul reminds us that how many of you were great? How many of you were influential people when God called you? The power of the mission that God gives to us is that he calls us as sheep and empowers us to be able to conquer wolves, whereas naturally a wolf would eat up a sheep. But what is powerful about the mission that God entrusts to us is that he calls you while you are still sheep, in other words, while you are still weak, and then he makes you strong. So God doesn't call the strong. He makes strong those he has called. God doesn't call the equipped. He, make, he equips those he has called. God doesn't call the best. He makes the best those he has called. So this is what Jesus is saying when he says, I'm sending you out as sheep among wolves. Now, the second thing I'd like you to take note of in this is that Jesus says, the fact that you are a sheep doesn't mean you should behave like a sheep. You should behave stupidly. He says, be as shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. You see, while God recognizes that we are weak, he also wants us to be smart. He wants us to be intelligent. He wants us not to be naive, all right? Some people, when they get into a new job, a new place, they're so excited about being there that they just throw themselves into it and do everything as if, you know, uh, life were a lily, uh, was some kind of sugar candy. Child of God, life is not a sugar candy mountain. The Lord wants us to know that things can be tough. So be smart, even though you are trying to be gentle. So be gentle, but at the same time, be smart. So this again is the Lord calling us to balance out between simplicity and smartness. And to end, the Lord tells us that, you know, they would, it goes on to tell us a lot of things that might happen. Brother will betray father, father will betray brother. They would deal with you badly. But what you should know is that in all of these, there will be a spirit that will be speaking in you. Don't worry. Have faith because the spirit of your father will be speaking in you. So what we get from this is that the reason, in fact, that in the first place, as sheep, we're able to defeat wolves and we're able to be smart and gentle at the same time is because of this third point, that the spirit of the Father lives in us. When we are baptized, whenever we go to church, when we receive communion, whenever hands are laid on us, the Holy Spirit comes on us afresh. It is this Holy Spirit that makes the mission possible. That is why the work of the church without the Holy Spirit is just the work of an NGO, another NGO. There is nothing special about the church if there is no Holy Spirit. So child of God, as we end the week, let's ask God for a renewal of the outpouring of the gifts of the Holy Spirit within us. So that even though we know that we were sheep when we were caught, we'll be able to, victor to be victorious by the wolves that we shall meet. Even though we know that we have to be simple, God will give us the intelligence we require to navigate life's difficulties. And of course, all of these, because we know that the Spirit of the Father lives within us. I pray that we have a great weekend and that Almighty God will bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.